Hey guys, it's me. How are you doing? I want to give you my Thanksgiving list what I'm grateful for. Number one, I'm grateful that God is in control. I don't have to have it all together. I don't have to be perfect. There's lots of bugs in the background in the air. That's okay because life brings bugs and life brings stuff and life brings trials and we put our eyes on the everlasting God. So of course you knew I was going to say that because you knew I know I love the Lord. I know you knew that. I know it, darling. I know it. And the Bible promises that if we love him with all our heart, mind, and soul, and strength, everything will fall into place. The prophet Shaul reminds us to be content in any and every situation. We need to ask God to teach us to be content because materialism will bring us down and lead to depression. And the world wants us to believe we need stuff. We don't need more stuff. We just need the Lord. And um, we can place our cares and our desires before him. And I believe that he will give us what we need, if not maybe even also what we want. <laughs> um, he's certainly given me what I want. And sometimes he hasn't, and it's been for the best. So um, I know I have so many stories I could tell you. I uh, also want to thank God for healing my voice. For years, I didn't have a voice, and he gave it back to me. So I'm grateful. And then also I want to thank God for my mom. She was in the hospital. Actually, I was writing the lyrics to Ima in Spanish yesterday because I've been recording a Spanish album. And while I was writing the lyrics in Spanish, saying what a wonderful woman she is, she actually ended up in the hospital. And I believe she's going to be okay. So we're all praising God. And yeah, anyway, that. And I'm just grateful that I've been blessed with a family who loves me and my husband who loves me. I'm very blessed. But for those of you out there with no family or with a dysfunctional family, I want you to know that when you make God the center of your life, everything's going to be okay. I know that because things weren't always perfect for me. And I, I, God was my anchor. And I pray God would be your anchor. Don't let depression sit in this holiday. You are worth it. You are valuable. You are a royal diadem. You are God's precious angel. And he loves you so much. So read Isaiah 62, if you don't believe me. Uh, it talks about how precious you are in his sight. Anyway, I'm thankful. And I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for friendships. I'm thankful for my support group because it's there where I could share my heart and get the right perspective so that I can set my mind on things that really matter. Anyway, that's about it. I'm grateful that I have so many people that keep watching my videos, even though I'm not putting out like amazing content. I mean, I have the big budget to make these huge videos in Israel and Cuba and El Salvador and wherever I go. I just trust God that you know I'm doing the work of the Lord and that I love him and I'm serving his people one day at a time everywhere I go. And here's the ducks to say hello. Hello ducks. <laughs> I love you. I'm grateful for you. And um, I thank you for who you are, for whose you are. And God bless you. Ah, they want food. <laughs> Shalom.